so it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. I know you guys have heard that, you know, I'm taking a bit of a, or at least taking it a little bit easier now that uh, I've just been working through a few things. And uh, I might as well come back with a new video and talk about what kind of effect DMT and my experiences with it have had on my belief or relationship with the idea of God. And uh, first of all, I should basically let you guys know that I've always presented myself as a agnostic. So I always considered the concept of belief or disbelief to be illogical. And I always wanted to have the the biggest logical view on the situation and that would obviously be I don't know either way. Um, I do notice something in my own personality though that uh, it basically comes down to the concept of uh, the idea that there's no atheists in a foxhole. So for me that resonates with me because anytime that I'm in a place of a lot of distress and usually emotional distress. Um, usually I end up turning to some sort of higher power and, and end up trying to think about um, it, the possibility of it, of it being true just so that it, it, it maybe gives me some relief in terms of, um, you know, how, or, it, or at least takes the pressure off whatever I'm dealing with. And um, I think with my DMT experiences, it kind of plays into that because I often try to look at the DMT experience when I'm going through something like that as uh, a gateway to some sort of divine um, spirit of some sort or um, divine in interaction with something because I know everyone believes that DMT has some sort of spiritual aspect to it, and I'm not sure about that. I don't really know. I, I sort of stay in the scientific-based stuff and, and tend not to uh, overlook that stuff unless we have evidence. But uh, I, I notice that when I'm in a emotional foxhole, I tend to want to lean towards the DMT experience as being something spiritual that I can possibly find answers from or... Uh, try to ease whatever discomfort that I'm that I'm going through with with an experience through that and most of the time it doesn't really solve much in terms of my problems but it does sort of add to the to the wonder and, and mystery of, of what I believe is out there and what what isn't because the experience is definitely bizarre and it's definitely if there was a higher power, I believe that it would have something to do with that experience, I, I would hope. Um, but I, in terms of it actually being something that is uh, what I would hope it would be, that I'm, I'm not too sure about it. I'm, I, I still remain open to that kind of thing. You know, I'm, I would consider myself agnostic, but leaning towards wanting to believe that there is some sort of higher power or there's some sort of God. I know that most people in my community, they're, they're kind of shut off to even believing that it would be nice if there was a god. You know, they, they seem to think that uh, it's, it's good if there was no god. And, and, you know, maybe that's the case. I'm not really too sure about that. But for me, uh, I personally would want there to be a god, I, I think. Uh, I, I would want there to be something that could help people uh, when they're going through pretty... Um, you know, high levels of suffering and, and things like that. And I know that, you know, people use the explanation of, you know, everyone is suffering and pe people die all the time. So why isn't God helping them? And, you know, I don't, I don't really know too much about that. Um, I could only assume that maybe soul karma has something to do with that. I'm, I'm not too sure. Uh, but on the other hand, you know, when I, find myself praying for things when I'm in a when I'm in a jam I'm always hoping that my soul karma is somewhat okay and um, that whatever is out there if it's listening that it might be able to uh, you know give me some uh, some help I guess but you know that's a long shot definitely you know lately I've definitely been finding myself praying to something you know just because you guys know I've been 
I've been dealing with a, f a, f a few, you know, really difficult situations, I guess, in terms of emotional uh, distress. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been taking a while for, for those kinds of prayers to uh, really, for me to find out if it actually is doing anything. And, you know, um, for me, it's actually, it's too early to tell, but I mean, um, you know, it's possible something is listening. I don't really know. Uh, I, I don't really know if, um, uh, you know, basically my prayers have been for a second chance in something, and for what I can guess, it's possible that that, uh, that kind of thing might actually be, you know, available to me. I'm not, it's too premature to tell, but the recent things have happened in my life that kind of opened the door for that to be possible. Um, I'm still experiencing a lot of distress because I don't really know if, if, uh, you know, there's uncertainty in, in this situation and any sort of uncertainty, uncertainty with my OCD basically causes me a lot of anxiety. So, um, you know, I can, I can look deep within my own, um, uh, feelings about the situation and try to, try to guess what, what's going on and what, what's going on in the, in the other minds that are involved in, in my situation. Uh, and, you know, that's pretty much all I have is just guesses. I don't, I can't really read anyone's mind, but, uh, I'd like to hope that whatever, you know, whatever assistance I'm asking for, whatever sort of relief I'm asking for is, um, you know, the right thing to be asking for. I, I still don't even know about that. Um, I just need something that could lift kind of the weight off because I feel like I've been weighted down too much and that has in the beginning it's it's been giving me more uh more fire to 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 work on things and succeed but now it's starting to get exhausting for me and I feel like there's a there's a cool down zone where I where I desperately kind of want to take place so that I can uh you know take the weight off a little bit and kind of get a rest period going because I feel like I'm not really in a, a getting a rest yet and you know that's been sort of what I end up finding myself praying for is, is just some little bit of relief for that. And so far, um, as I said, it's premature, but uh, it's possible that something, whatever, might have heard that. I don't really know. Um, this is just kind of me shooting the, the uh, you know, I'm not really... I don't really know if any of this is even coherent or even uh, even matters in, in, in actual reality. It's just what I've been seeing unfold and, and basically what I've been asking for. If the, if the universe listens to you or not, I don't really know. Uh, I'm hoping it does. You know, I would love for something out there to be, to be listening to what you, really, what you really want and, you know, decide whether it's something that is, uh, you know, you, you're deserving of or if it's not meant for you i don't i don't really know um but yeah um dmt it definitely hasn't made me an atheist you know it it didn't uh it didn't take away any of my belief in certain things but it's definitely made me a lot more vigilant on what kind of things or ideas i accept as as reality and uh i'm I'm more open to ideas of some sort of transcendental explanation of reality, but as other experiences have made me want to be very certain of those things and, and, and have it scientifically verified before I believe it. So that's pretty much my ideas about it. And uh, just to end this video, I should let you guys know that what's been going on in my life in terms of career stuff. Um, I may, I, well actually not more than may. Um, I ended up cold calling a tattoo, uh, like a, an owner of a tattoo shop that my, uh, like a friend that I had, she apparently said that she was in contact with him, but it, it might have been someone else in the shop because this guy ended up saying, oh, I don't even know who this girl is when I messaged him. And at first he said that, you know, cold calling d and doesn't, doesn't work in terms of getting this kind of stuff or asking for an apprenticeship. But then uh, I basically said, oh, I'm sorry about that, and uh, thanks for getting back to me, and, and peace. And then he said, you know, hold on, that doesn't mean no. And he ended up telling me uh, to, 
you know, come in, hang out, get to know them, uh, bring my portfolio. And uh, he said that we would talk about a, the possibility of a mentorship program. And he ended up saying that he's, uh, he's looking forward to seeing me. So uh, I got another tattoo and I asked my tattoo artist about this and he actually knows the guy that I ended up cold calling. And uh, he seems to think that it's a uh, an interview of some sort. So um, yeah, hopefully there's there's some promise to that. And I really want to meet them and and because uh, he seems like a really cool guy. The, the guy that I message, he's really nice. And uh, you know, I I definitely want to come down and get to know them. And I I told him I'd get some work done too by him, um, just to you know uh, make make more acquaintances with them. You know, I told them I've been networking and everything like that. So. Hopefully everything goes well, and I'll show you guys the new tattoo design that I got. It's my own design. Uh, I'm going to be finishing it on September 1st. That's when my next appointment is. And I will also show you guys uh, one of the finished portraits that I have for my portfolio. It's of uh, Christian Bale from the movie Equilibrium, when he shoots the boss at the end. So uh, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.